Any standard 3 8 inch nap microfiber roller should work just fine. Make sure it's a, a best and better quality. And the other thing I do is just go back and ensure you're getting the right coverage rate, six to 700 square feet per gallon. Uh, if you're getting that and you're not seeing any other type of funky patterns or anything on the floor, uh, the roller you picked out is probably working just fine. So it depends on your application rate, your color choice, the amount of excess that you're removing before you're buffing uh, off the remainder, and of course your environmental conditions. But typically uh, a white pad front and back is gonna last you between 150 and 300 square feet per pad before both sides are so loaded up that you need to switch out to a new one. So yes, you could wash them out with clean water and reuse them for the same color. You know, after they're washed out, you can store them in an airtight container. If it's gonna be a longer time before you go back and use that same color, you could pop them in the freezer. Kind of the same process we would use for our sealer and finish applicators of the same finish and the same sheen. Um, but I would just ask, is it worth it? Um, maybe with the roller cover, I would do that. Uh, with the cut-in pad, I would probably just peel it off and toss it, but it also depends. If I'm coming back, you know, the next day or in two or three hours and I'm going to do the same color in a different part of the house, yeah, I'm probably washing those pads out or just throwing them in a baggie, saving them till I get back, um, or I'm coming back tomorrow and doing the next part of the house, yep, washing them out, putting them in a, a, a baggie and saving them. But if it's going to be a long time, uh, I'm probably just getting rid of them, getting new ones before the, uh, the next application.